Thursday, after these first two days that we had fantastic presentations approaching different topics in, in embolization in general, we'll cover prosthetic artery embolization. That is the topic of my uh, preference and that we have a great experience and we will share this with the audience. And during my presentation, during my topic specifically, I will cover the complications related to the procedures. Not only complications related during the procedure, but also other complications that we should be aware, like adverse events and complications that we should follow these patients during the follow-up. In today's sessions about Indoleak, uh, there are various topics that will be covered. My talk and the session will cover one of the approaches that deal with the Indoleak, particularly type 2 Indoleak, which is direct set puncture. In my talk, I'll talk about the, uh, the anatomy, the, the technique, and the, the various techniques that this procedure can be done. We'll touch base about the clinical and technical success rate and the, the best material that operator might choose to uh, do this procedure and what's the evidence behind it. In today's session, we're going to talk about a uh, new material, polymer-based material. Uh, it's called NFX and it's uh, a new material. So we have patients in a prone position and we, can, uh, we go by a uh, percutaneous translumbar way and I think it's uh, for the patient it's a very easy way to get uh, the endoleak uh, fixed. In today's HCC session um, attendees will uh, have the ability to learn uh, some new insight about uh, hepatocellular carcinoma transarterial treatment into the specific more insight about balloon occluded procedure. This uh, um, procedure uh, introduces a novelty uh, pressure gradient driven embolization that can significantly improve uh, the oncological profile uh, and the success uh, for your patient that is experiencing a transarterial treatment. From today's session, I think we get a great overview about portal hypertension uh, treatment and what embolotherapy is capable of doing in such a complex and relatively rare disease. Especially in my talk, uh, I will give an insight and overview about the literature, what to do in partial uh, splenic artery embolization and where we as interventional radiologists can make a difference. <laughs>